Creator of the stars of night, thy people's everlasting light. Jesus, Redeemer of us all, hear thou thy servants when they call. Thou sword ring at the helpless cry of all creation doomed to die. Did save our lost and guilty race by healing gifts of heavenly grace. When earth was near its evening hour, thou didst in love's redeeming power, like bridegroom from his chamber come forth from a maiden mother's womb. At thy great name exalted, now all knees in holy homage bow, all things in heaven and earth adore, and only King forevermore. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, Good afternoon, friends. It is wonderful to gather with you together for this annual celebration of Lessons and Carols, the Advent Lessons and Carols, today on the third Sunday of Advent. This is also known as Gaudete Sunday, the Day of Great Rejoicing, one of the two days of rejoicing in the church calendar. So it's a, an especially poignant day to gather together. I hope that you're all well, and I hope that you're all healthy. And I want to welcome you into this space, into this time, as we gather together to sing God's praises. As we gather together here today, we want to acknowledge that this land, this place, this territory that we gather on is the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Seelk people of the Okanagan Nation. And we want to recommit ourselves to the work of reconciliation, a work that begins in ourselves with our own baptismal vows and continues on in the life of the community and the life of the world. And so let us enter into this time and to this place in the spirit of prayer and of praise. Let us pray. My sisters and brothers in Christ, as we meet to celebrate anew the coming of God's kingdom, we hear revealed to us the mystery of God's loving purpose for us. How, when we were far off, God met us in Jesus and brought us home, humbling himself to take our human nature that we might share in the divine glory. Let us then so celebrate the coming with our carols and hymns of praise, that our lives may be charged with the life of Christ, that we may bear witness to God's glory, and so bring light to those who sit in darkness. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace and justice on the earth for which he died for the unity and the mission of the church, especially for the church in our country and in this city. And because he particularly loves them, let us remember in Christ's name those among whom Christ was born, the poor and the helpless, the aged and young children, the cold, the hungry, and the homeless, the victims of poverty, injustice, and oppression, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and the unloved, those in despair or in the shadow of death. Lastly, let us remember before God, his pure and lowly mother, and all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and in whom, in this Lord Jesus, we forevermore are one. As we rejoice with the saints in heaven and on earth, we remember all who have gone before us with a sign of faith, whose hope was in the word made flesh, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through whom we offer up our prayers. Amen. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God say, You shall not eat from the tr any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, 
We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise. She took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. They heard the sound of the Lord walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman who you gave to me to be with me. She gave me the fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. Before time and the worlds were begun When there was no earth and no sky and no sun And war was deep silence and night reigned supreme And even our Maker had only a dream The silence was broken when God sang the song, and light pierced the darkness, and rhythm began. And with its first birth, Christ creation was born, and creaturely voices sang praise to the Lord. The sounds of the creatures were one with their Lord's. Their harmony sweet and befitting the world. The singer was pleased as the earth sang the song. The choir of the creatures re echoed it long. Go down through the ages, the song disappeared. Its harmonies broken and almost unheard. The singer comes to us to sing it again. Our God is with us in the world now as then. The light has returned as it came once before. The song of the Lord is our own song once more. So let us all sing with one heart and one voice the song of the singer whom we rejoice. Do you, God, the singer, our voices we raise? Do you, song in we give all our praise to you, Holy Spirit, our life and our breath. Be glory forever through thy 
life and through death. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom like the crocus. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunts of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people. No traveler not even fools shall go astray. No lion shall be there. Nor shall any ravenous beast come up on it. They shall not be found there. But the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their hearts. They shall obtain joy and gladness. And sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Comfort, O oh, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain. O Zion, herald of good tidings, lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. Fish like and then f fish likes along the east to touch the brush a sheen of light on water, as though behind the sky it itself the, the winds, the winds, the shift and simmer of another river, flowing un, underneath the inst hidden, had hidden source, the, the safe prison, Spring, the earth, the urchin, prime, vera, plague, plague saw it too. Donna and Beatrice are wait are waiting in now, away up up dreaming, and every travel of light becomes a great grace. In me, a, a, a beckoning, the smallest glimpse is there, be, therefore, a gleaming and a calling, sleeping among the darkness was a dream. For me, you will see the dark, the, 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 the day spring at your waking, beyond you, your long last line, the dawn is breaking. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king, and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. 
The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant that they broke, though I was their husband, says the Lord. <clears throat> but this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people." No longer shall they teach one another or say to each other, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. Oh, come to find Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. Dear Savior, haste, come, come to earth, dispel the night and show your face and bid us hail the dawn of grace. Oh, come divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. O oh, Christ, whom nations sighed for, whom priest and prophet long foretold, come break the captive's fetters, redeem the long lost fold. O oh, Fils de Dieu, ne tardez pas par votre corps, donnez la joie à notre monde en désarroi. Redites-nous encore de quel amour vous nous aimez, tant d'hommes vous ignore. Venez, venez, venez. You come in peace and meekness, and lowly will your cradle be. All clothed in human weakness, shall we your God at sea? À Bethléem, les cieux chantaient que le meilleur de vos bienfaits, c'était le don de votre paix. Le monde la dédaigne, par tous les cœurs sont divisés, qu'arrive votre règne, venez, venez, venez. But you, O Bethlehem, o of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from the one shall come forth from me, one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore, we shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. Oh, Lord. 
Sing aloud, O daughter Zion. Shout, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall fear disaster no more. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will renew you with, in his love. He will exult over you with loud singing as on a day of festival. I will remove disaster from you so that you will not bear reproach for it. For thus says the Lord of hosts, Once again, in a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. And I will shake all the nations so that the treasure of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with splendor, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The latter splendor of this house 
shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give prosperity, says the Lord of hosts. It was a time like this, war and tumult of war, a horror in the air, hungry on the abyss, and yet there came the star, and the child most wonderfully there. It was a time like this, of fear and lust for power, license and greed and blight, and yet the prince of bliss came into the darkest hour. In quiet and silent light, and in a time like this, how celebrate his birth, when all things fall apart. Ah, wonderful it is, with no room on the earth, the stable is in our heart. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophet Isaiah. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming, a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after, uh, after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit.
In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting that might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child will be born, to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The angel Gabriel from heaven came His wings as drifted snow, his eyes a flame All hail said he, thou lowly maiden Mary, most highly favored lady For the Lord. In God's word is my hope. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. In God's word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, therefore shall you be feared. In God's word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchmen for the morning. In God's word is my hope. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. In God's word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul waits for the Lord. In God's word is my hope. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armor of light. Now in the time of your mortal life, in which your Son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility, that on the last day when he shall come again in glorious majesty, to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal. 
through him who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, both now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now, friends, may Almighty God, by whose providence our Savior Christ came among us in great humility, sanctify you with the light and the blessing of this Advent season and free you from all sin. Amen. May Christ, for whom we wait in hope, strengthen your faith and keep you in love, that you may rejoice in hope. Amen. May God fill you with all joy in the coming of the infant Jesus, and so bring you to eternal life at Christ's return and glory. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you today and forevermore. Amen. Cheer us by your 
shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. O come, desire of nations, find in one the you mankind, oh baby.